Um, actually, there is one little extra thing I want to tell you about this instrument view, just so you don't get confused. Um, okay, we're in instrument mixer view. The pot at the top, which is an only channels on the mixer that have an instrument plug-in installed will have a, an LED showing a display. These are all audio tracks so they're blank. Okay, so these three buttons are functioning as some function for the instrument for the selected channel in the mixer and that is to open the instrument for these three channels. Okay, now do you remember when we were in plug-in view and we're looking at plug-in mixer view and when it's in this plug and mixer view, we've chosen which slot this pot is going to be the parameter for per channel and the param parameter that this pot controls is opening the plug-in in the selected slot. So for example, if I go to the eighth channel here, okay, if I press this pot, it will open the third plug-in, which it does, it opens the tape delay and then it goes into plug-in channel view to edit it. So I'll just change that back to plug-in mixer view. Now do you remember how if there was no plug-in installed, pressing that pot, right, you, you could twiddle the pot and the LED increments up or down and then you press it and it will install and initialize a plug-in into the third slot and then it switches to plug-in channel view ready to edit it. Do you remember that? And if there's already a plug-in in the slot, if you just press it, it'll open, if you just press the part in plug-in mixer view, it will open the th you're on the third slot. So it will just, if you don't rotate the part and you just press it for each channel, it will open the third plug-in if one exists without twiddling the part. It opens whatever plug-in is installed. But if I then just twiddle the pot a tiny bit and press it, it opens a different plug-in. And then just twiddle it a bit more and it opens a different plug-in. And then a little bit more and it opens a different plug-in. But do you remember how there was no way as we rotated this pot of knowing which damn plug-in was being selected and then press and open it, yeah? You know, do you remember that? It's Well, it's, you know, it's the same with instruments, you know. Unfortunately, with the plug-ins, as you twist this pot, it is selecting a different plug-in when you're in mixer view for the third slot, whichever slot is selected. So as I rotate this part, it is selecting a different plug-in for this channel, third slot. And then when I press it, it'll open that plug-in. But I've got no way of knowing as I rotate this part which plug-in I'm highlighting, because the list doesn't pop up. If when you rotated this part for this channel, it's the th and we're controlling the third pot, the third slot, yeah, plug-in slot. If when I twiddled this pot, it would open the list, and then as I rotated the pot, this list would scroll up and down, and I know which damn plug-in I was selecting. Then that would be great. So I rotate, look to look at the list. I've got the one I want highlighted, and once I've got the one I want highlighted, I press to open it. Well, uh, you know, it doesn't work that way, and it's the same in instrument mixer view. Okay. I'll just select channel one. Again, these three parts will open the instrument plugin on those three channels. And if you don't rotate it before you press, it opens whatever instrument is already in the slot. So ESM, back to mixer view, EVP88, back to mixer view, and the third channel has also got an EVP88. Back to mixer view. But it's the same thing. Okay, if I go to this channel here, right, just I'll highlight it to make it more obvious. If I twiddle the pot and then press it, it'll open a different instrument. All right, let's twiddle it in a different position and it opens a different instrument. Again, twiddle it to a different LED position and it opens a different instrument. But like with the plugins, as I rotate this part, I've got no way of knowing which instrument I'm selecting in the list because the list doesn't pop up. Again, like with the plugins, if when you rotated the part, it would bring up the list. And then as you rotated the pot, it would scroll up and down until you had the correct instrument 
highlight it and then you pressed it and it would open it brilliant but sadly that's not how it is so just like with the plugins okay we're controlling plugin slot 3 so if I want to install a plugin in the third slot for this channel there's no point rotating this to try to choose a different plugin and then pressing to install it I can't choose the plugin the only thing to do if I want to change the plugin on this slot third slot for this channel is I have to manually install it with the mouse so I can choose the right plugin I want okay and it's the same in instrument mix of view I've got to choose the instrument I want manually with the mouse on that slot All right hey it's a shame that really isn't it I mean if only can you imagine how brilliant it would be if you could just twiddle this part and as you did it would bring up the list of instruments and you just twiddle up and down with the LED until you had the right instrument highlighted in the list and then pressed it and it would install that instrument into the slot and open it ready for editing but unfortunately you can't do everything from the front panel of the BCF okay so I just wanted to show you that because you might be thinking hello what does that um, what does that do you know because you might accidentally twist the pot and press it and it opens a different instrument you know? so just bear that in mind so that's everything to do with um, the instrument editing and now we can look at the um, the sends mode that's send sends mixer view and sends channel view okay